Alrighty. Testing microphone, making sure mic is working. Alrighty. Okay, perfect. Testing microphone, making sure Okay. Just making sure that the uh, microphone wasn't picking up the feedback. So, uh, welcome all back to another riveting episode of uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. My name is Rob Wolf, and uh, I will be your curator for tonight. Um. Really nothing special. I think I uh, stopped the, the last video is where I left off here, so. Can't wait to see where this goes. I was messing around with um, both, both the uh, Google uh, TV and the Chromecast Ultra today, and I've come to a consensus that the Chromecast Ultra is uh, better suited for Stadia. Google TV is good, and it is a good smart TV uh, dongle, but I would not use it for Google Stadia, and for two parts. Um, one, it uses um, Dolby Vision as proprietary RGB. You can't select HDR10 as the um, RGB chroma sample. So it's unfortunate that um, they don't really give you much choice. Um, Dolby Vision is good, but it's a little finicky and it doesn't work well with my system or with my setup, uh, namely my TV. And so I decided to not go with it only because it just doesn't have the capabilities of um, the fine-tuning and adjusting that's needed for it. So I opted out for that. But not only that, it also required um, uh, an additional payment. Even though it's like $50 US and you... Let's see, I, I actually was traveling down here. So I'm actually going to continue further south. So let's fast travel here. Um, but what I found was that... Um, or you can buy it for $50, the Google TV, but you have to pay an additional $20 to have the ethernet adapter. Um, and I think it's just essential for um, the zero latency or the minimal latency that you're going for when it comes to gaming. Uh, in the case of what I'm doing here, actually, I haven't even checked to see um, my picture input settings here. You obviously can't see any of this, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure uh, game low latency is on. Anywho, and uh, so yeah, it just. All right, so we're further south here. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we can't. We're, we're, no, 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 we're not in any danger. Anyway, um, let's get our horse. We're going to the... I think destination can't be reached. Okay, just follow the road for a minute. Hang on. Oh yeah, we can totally get there. I mean, destination cannot be reached. Alright, let's just cut across here for a little bit. Hopefully we'll catch a spot. Um, so, uh, finishing up what I was saying, it costs an additional $20 to get the Ethernet adapter, which basically, if you were to price it all out, it would cost the same amount uh, as the Chromecast Ultra to um, get the same thing. And, you know, you could pay $70 outright to get the Chromecast Ultra or uh, get the Google TV and pay an additional $20 for the Chromecast or for the um, Ethernet adapter. Not to say that there was it was a ter terrible connection or a terrible experience, but if you're dealing with 
family members or you have more than one appliance that's uh, connected to the five gigahertz uh, connection, it does bog it down a little bit and you do get occasional stutters and stuff like that. So unfortunately it's not not as good as you, oh I could have just collected from the horse, I don't know why I did this. I'm already at full. Wasn't paying attention there. Anyway, so in my opinion, even though Google TV is a really good uh, dongle or adapter for a smart TV experience, um, it's not nearly as good as um, the Chromecast Ultra is for um, the Google Stadia experience. So, um, so I kind of switched things back and you know, everything, I've actually learned a, a little bit more about my TV and its lumens and everything. It's still not 100% perfect, but, um, you know, when setting up HDR and everything, it is a feat. It's a bit of a task to really uh, get the right uh, contrast and brightness and all that stuff. There, there's a lot of extra work involved. Now, some, I might as well just shoot these guys. They're just not going up. I mean, I probably could go faster, but why is my horse still doing that? Okay. Right, they may get caught on the fence. Yeah, they're caught on the fence. Still not out of the weeds, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I might have killed my horse. Nope, the horse is okay. Just won't give up. Oh, that was kind of like a quick dash attack. Uh, I couldn't repeat it. Alright, well, that we dealt with that mess. We finally reached our destination, I think. I think it's within this location. Yeah. It's on that statue, it looks like, all the way out there. Is this hospitable, or... Am I in for a bit of a... I should not be seen in this area. Yep. Yeah. Of course. So anyway, um, that's my general conclusion. Other people would say different, but the Chromecast Ultra experience has just been uh, a far better experience when it comes to uh, Stadia. And it actually has a few features that are catered towards Stadia that actually help improve the overall experience. So um, I have yet to be disappointed um, by the overall experience. Oh, nobody here. I didn't take any damage. I gotta build up my rations. I keep forgetting um, every time I um, level up that I don't level up my rations, my, my bag, to increase the capacity. I'll increase my health, but I'll never I'll forget to increase my uh, uh, ability to hold more ration. So, actually, this is really deep into this area. That woman is panting so hard. You need to really calm down, lady. Whoa, that was a weird jump. Okay, we're getting close to it. Oh, it's like we're in... Is that a Roman... Statue? Looks like a Roman statue. I mean, we have been dealing with the historical value of, or historical time of Roman. Uh, we've got a, a uh, wow, won't even climb that, huh? Um, 
Okay. Alright, so this is Assassin's Creed, and you can't climb a, a column like that. That's just ludicrous. So, anywho, um, yes, we have a curator who loves uh, Roman architecture, so obviously this looks like an old coliseum here. Um, obviously, I'm playing off of my PC right now, so I could stream it to... I could play this out off of my Chromebook, but it's it's not nearly as good of an experience because I'm not using my big screen TV, so... Uh, this is far better than that experience, but... Uh, to say the least, I mean, it's... It looks beautiful. I zeroed in on the... Uh, the best HDR experience, of course. Unfortunately, Windows still sucks when it comes to HDR. They're supposed to fix it soon, like, I, I believe in, um... Oh, wow, there's a lot of lag going on right now. Um, which is weird. I don't think I've ever experienced this large amount of stuttering. Could be something going on with Windows right now. Speaking of Windows. Um... The whole experience with uh, Windows 11 um, is a bit upsetting. Um, the upgrading and the compatibility issues um, for, like, you have to have a PC that's at least three years old. Um, any older than that, and you have to potentially upgrade in order to um, be able to use uh, Windows 11. Especially if you already own Windows 10, it's a free upgrade and everything. And then there's a couple of features like HDR mode, which when HDR content is um, displayed, it, it's automatically um, enabled or something like that. I don't know. Again, the HDR experience on Windows is, to a degree, very fake. Um, let's see what's in here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, obviously. I believe there's a bounty here. Find and talk to Maximilian about the Legionnaire statue. Well, let's go to there. Let's find out about the Legionnaire statue. Um, but good note, uh, the one feature that uh, Windows 11 originally was going to have that um, wasn't going to be available for 10, that is now available for 10. Well, not just yet, but will soon be available for 10. Did I go too far? Uh, I guess I have to find him. No? It's, I don't know why my... Why the indicator's not showing up on my screen anymore. But anyway. Oh, it's over this way. This way. Um, is direct storage uh, compatibility. Is now going to be usable on Windows 10. Um, and it was one of the features I was looking forward to. Um, I do have an, um, NVMe storage container, and I use it all the time. Um, and it'd be very useful. I, I believe my graphics card, uh, and I believe the Express port that I have is 4.0. I can't, uh, PCI Express bot is supposed to be 4.0. I could be wrong. Um, but... Uh, with the combination, I should be able to use direct storage. I could be wrong. I'll have to check back again. But All right, so I guess we're within the area. Uh, i got to find the guy. So let's just... Oh. Nope. Didn't show up. Nope. It's not within this area. Again, I don't know why the... So he's back in this area. Here we are. Over here? Is that him? Looks like him, yeah. Ah, uh, getting stuck on stuff. If I got one crack, that statue is as fragile as the rest of my collection and costs more than the hovel you call a home. Just to climb out his cock out, you nutter. Ooh, nutter. Mm. 
at the swingers from the knowledge. I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have. Octavian of London. I've a guess who your friend is. And no, Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert? <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert. A name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. Uh, when or when fighting matches to increase charisma. Okay. I mean, I guess I can spend money. I, don't, I have, haven't really used it for anything. Oh, oh, that is... Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the Legionnaire. Bit of a twat he is. Oop, of course I'm on fire. <laughs> I'll have to take this back to Osprey. Finds it very amusing. That his name is Osberg. What's wrong with having a unique name? Alright, let's synchronize over here. There's obviously a lot of... One of the things that I really like to do in Assassin's Creed uh, games is... Um, unlock all the synchronization spots so that way I can just simply fast travel to these places. And of course, obviously, it shows me all of the potential uh, scavenging and, you know, all the special thing. I mean, everybody knows that you synchronize and uh, things are revealed to you. So. This is a big place, though. So. I was just watching um, Markiplier uh, any of you um, any of you YouTubers are familiar with uh, Markiplier. He, he's one of the original uh, Let's Play experiences out there. Um, very unique individual, if you will. Um, but and he's been on a streak lately of um, playing a game called Power Wash Simulator. Uh, and he's been fixated on it for quite a bit. I don't know what he finds so fascinating about it, but it is very interesting to watch um, seeing someone, you know, methodically clean things uh, with a power wash. But, you know, so, some of the content is pretty decent for the most part. Um, but it's fascinating that, I mean, I've seen things from Farm Simulator to uh, there is even the Hand Simulator, which that was a great uh, small series between Markiplier and uh, his friends uh, Bob and um, and Wade. Such a funny experience watching these guys try to uh, use two hands to try and um, outwit each other in different scenarios, whether it be um, there's a, a, a shootout experience, there's a uh, what's the other thing? Um, there was like manning a tank or disarming a bomb and stuff like that. There's a lot of funny stuff in there. All right, where do I jump over here? Nope. Yes, that's where I go back, but I'm not ready to go back. Not yet. I haven't found a level yet where it's easy for uh, my level. I am, oop. I am a level 83. Everything is in like the triple digits now. So now my brother says, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. You j it just takes longer for you to kill people and stuff. I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to have to struggle like that. All right, I'm going to take this last, uh, trip to this synchronization and actually I'll take a horse this time I don't know why my whistle is different 
from um, my uh, selective category, but oh, I, can I cross here? I don't think I can. The path winds around here. Hmm. Oh, there's a bridge. I thought there was. I don't know why my uh, cheeks are so... Right now they feel pretty achy. Um, I don't know why. Um, can't be the headset, but anyway. This area is off limits. Well, if I really wanted to go there, but I'm not going to, so. Why do you quarrel? Because my husband has the courage of a quivering dormouse. All I ask for is a child. I'm not sure how I can help you with that. There is a rock, a place of great power. They say that all women who spend the night there come away pregnant. From a rock? From the fertile power and energy it holds. I mm -hmm. must see it for myself. Will you protect me on the road? Uh... Every woman I know who's gone to the rock has left with child. It's a miracle. I guess it's not a Christian gonna... belief. The legend says that Ostera, the goddess of spring, transformed a bird into a hare at this very spot. Uno momento, por favor. Ah, all right. for her festival the place has great magic birds hmm. becoming hares hares laying eggs well we norse have stranger stories here we are oh this is a very short trip i guess i just have to be up here and i guess maybe there's a chance that somebody's gonna attack and i have to there's definitely a wolf Multiple wolves. This is the sacred place. Oh, stop it. Gotta be aware of those wolves. <laughs> Might as well pick up some more while I'm at it. Great Ostara. Bestow your blessing upon me. Give me that which I so desperately desire. A child. Hmm. Ostera shall grant your wish through the power oh. of a sacred ritual. Do you both seek the goddesses? Saka? This woman has come to take in the power of the Rock of Fertility. And she will all leave satisfied. However long it takes, and whatever is needed of me, I will give it. Oh boy. Hmm. Yes, my dear. Feel the power of the goddess. Take it all in. But it is so big. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Filling you up. You feel the power. Mm hmm. All right. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, kind of seen this one coming. This rock brought forth. Yes. Yes. It's just Are there place. cuckoos in the nest? A lot of women have had their greatest desire granted. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Wow. I feel the power. I believe it. I believe it. 
We all saw that one coming. No way that a rock just gives off uh, a sacred for fertility. Obviously, there was men at play. I love how they call him the rock. Mm -hmm. We're back at the beginning. Yeah, no, I, it's, it's weird with some of these world quests, you know, what they, world events, um, some are challenging and some are just as stupid as that. I mean, you see things happening and that's interesting, but there's no challenge to it at all. You're going to the marker, right? Better be taking me to the marker. Eh, let's hope it's taking me to the marker. Usually it does. The roundabout way is just, I don't know. But I don't have to touch the controllers, so. Who tramples wildflowers in my wood? Oh, stop it. I'm not going to deal with another world event. I might come back here eventually. Alright, so what we're dealing with up here... Seems like a... Abandoned location, nothing too, once again, nothing too challenging, so, just a church. I'm sure there are some secrets here. Or it wouldn't be much of a location, now, would it? Still a beautiful looking game. Wow. I mean, I knew this outstretched, but I wonder if there's a spot down in here too. Alright, let's go back. We can always fast travel back here. There's obviously a lot of stuff here, like uh, a new ability here that I have yet to unlock. Not that I really care much for it. Fast travel. So I guess we're going back to the Roman Collector. Os Ospert, I believe was his nickname. Now I know some of you can't see this is, uh, you know, played at this actually can be played at any level, but uh, primarily um, is streamed at 1080p 60 frames per second. So you're getting the best experience possible. So am I because it's not bogging down my system at all. It's all being streamed from the server to you and to me. So anything I do on here is uh, translated back to you and you can watch it at whatever resolution you see fit. Um, I'm sure the compression, if I remember correctly, is not that great, but it is what it is. Um, but the ease of use, the setup is just so easy, so simple. And, uh, you know, I, I get to play Let's Plays and, and uh, you know, eventually maybe find some followers. But. 
Octavian, I have something that or may Osbert. interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch. How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you. That's it? Really? I'm off. Be well, friend. Valley, Eivor. I have to obtain, like, five of those artifacts, and I still have yet to get five artifacts. The River to Raid. I thought I already did. Talk to Edith in the settlement barracks to recruit your lieutenant. Okay, so I guess I really haven't done that, or it just became uh, viable, I guess. What's this one down here, this raid? It's 160. Again, I, I, it's just I'm not powerful enough for these raids, and well, I don't want to go in it without the proper power level. Excuse me. So it's turned into a bit of a grind session. Which I guess is fine for the most part. I really hope Stadia does well. Like, I really hope that the future of Stadia resides um, in the, at least for me in the department, the pro membership um, is um, probably like the key to hopefully their success. Um, I've only invested in Valhalla and what was the other game I invested in? There was one other game I invested in, I'm sure. There was probably a couple games, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, which you've probably seen maybe a couple episodes of that. Um, now let's go to this person. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Oh, yeah? Hmm. I think I remember that guy. Uh, is he the only one? Mm hmm. Okay. Guess we'll sign. Unless we can. Nope, we can't change. Sure. It's only one person, but. I'm pretty sure I remember him. saved him from something. I can't remember. I play this game so sporadically, like, it's... Oh. A lot of raiders. Now, I wonder if I increase my raiders, does it decrease the power level suggestion? Probably not. Unless, it's not based on my power level as it is based on my uh, raiders power level. I have a raiders... Uh, power levels separate from my own. Alright, let's see what other quests I have here. Usually it's uh, leveling up the settlement, which requires me to raid, and I can't do that. Complete co uh, 10 contracts, which that should be the, the go-to one. Um, because completing contracts are about the only thing I can do at this point. Though some of them are Difficult. Uh, members of the Order, that just is over time. And of course, find the Codex pages and all that. So, Mastery Challenge, Challenge to Continue Your Adventure, Reach Level 221. 
River Raid. Meet the new arrivals at the old dock in the settlement. I guess we can do that, but it requires a level 92, and I, again, don't think I've gotten there yet. <sighs> There's Asgard. So yeah, I mean, again, it, it just comes down to it's a bit of a grind session. I try to complete as much as possible, but it requires that you... Uh, I think it was down here. Yeah, because there was this... I like getting in the way of the raven. Levels up a whole bunch of attributes. We got two more skill points? Awesome. Uh, is there another way of the raven? There's one right here. Uh, we'll just barely get it, though. All right. I go here and then here, or go here and then here. Okay. Awesome. Leveled up twice, baby. Okay, so that's definitely holding on to two skill points. Alright, so meet them. Are they here? How do I meet them? Meet the new arrivals. Which are basically around the corner here. So that's the old dock right over there? Actually, can I increase my rations yet? I forgot what it requires. Just... So it's just iron and leather that I have to get, which... Definitely don't have enough iron. That's easy enough to collect. tell of any river champion not sure what to make of that but you're welcome to ask Eivor Suniva and stranger what brings you to our shores Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures they seek to join with Ravenstone if you wish to join us we only ask for hard work and loyalty no need of silver or gold wouldn't say no to it either it is good to meet you Eivor and there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. Okay. Seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship, I appreciate the offer and accept it. Hmm. I wonder what it's going to require to fix the ship. What? Well, this is part of the leveling up the settlement, and right? How do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. I guess the building was never complete, but does that make my settlement a level five now? I don't think it does. I gotta go to quest. Uh, yeah, still have yet to do that, I think. I think it requires going to this part. No, that's in dreams. I haven't been here in a while. Is that in the... This is our tactical thing. Well, let's go on a raid. Are you ready to set sail? Sure. Sorry, I'm not reading this out loud. Um, okay, so you die. 
On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Yom's Vikinger along the paths we travel. Yom's Vikinger. Mine could use the rest. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. I don't know which uh, area it's going to take me to, but if it's any of the raids that exist, I've already been beyond it. So, hopefully it simplifies it enough. Like, you know, it's it's an open world situation, so they might have, might have guessed that some people would have already gone on raids, even though um, they haven't set up their building station or whatever, but if they were right about it, they should have at least had some sort of path to setting up the building and all that stuff for the raids. Mm. Looks like this is setting up a session, so this is unique to the world itself, so. So maybe this would be a chance for me to um, level up even more. Let's see where we're at. Oh, yeah. This is well outside the old world, so. Here many maps. Few know how to navigate it. The Yom's Vikinga have been learning its skills. An old friend said it was a smuggling route for Roman traders. She claimed it was useful in hiding their tracks. In fact, it is so well hidden. You could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Look! There! Villages! Not hoarders of wealth, mind you. But well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations for the crew. Remember, Why not? my crew is like a pack of trained wolves. They will respond to you. Give them freely and loudly. Okay. Okay, so these definitely offer a lot more than just the raids that I've been experiencing within the land itself, so. I was gonna loot. Oh, I guess he had nothing to loot. Let's see if we can get inside here. I'm not here for you. We'll just keep raiding as much as we can. As long as they don't set these on fire, but then again, I think I've been in and out of buildings that were on fire, so. There's another one right there, which. That one location is on fire. Hey, come here a moment! My boy! Yum's Vikingers will use their rations automatically when their health is low. You can spend one of your rations to revive down Yum's Vikingers, but you must reach them in time. That seems to be everything. We should return to the ship. All right, we have what we came for. Let's go. So I guess we go back to the long ship. So I guess we gotta be out of the I've had tougher fights in taverns. Well, stay alert. 
Hurt. Smoke from the flames will alert camps down river. The fighting will get tougher as we go. Sounds like fun. The smoke from the fires will alert locations up the river, increasing river uh, alert gauge. When the river alert gauge uh, bell passes the midpoint, the full threshold, you will encounter more enemy reinforcements at other locations. By opening, okay. Can't. So we'll be heading down river once again here. Hmm. Sorry, give me one second here. Sorry, give me one second here. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm just going to mute my... Uh, Yeah. Well, you know, for uh, for Stadia, it runs smoothly most of the time. Yeah. Military camp. You will find foreign supplies and even gear if you're lucky. They will put up a fight. So be it. Yeah. Can Can you believe this is actually my first time actually uh, doing the actual raids? I've been doing the raids within the um, the actual world. But going into this was like a whole new thing, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that this existed, so. But I had to finish building the uh, raid camp, so. So I might be a few levels about this at this point, so. Oh, I'm good. I'll just uh, take my last day off uh, with as much relaxation as I possibly can. Or I have to go to work tomorrow. Right, let's uh, pillage look for some stuff to get. Oop. Not really noticeable. Mm. Oh, it just, it wasn't uh, obvious, obvious to me from the beginning because um, I didn't know I actually had to finish talking in order to build the dock necessary to do these river raids. So, I thought what I was doing in the actual world were the river raids, so. But whatever, you know. So, it just doesn't mean that I have to do as much grinding as I thought I was going to have to do before. Yeah, I figured as much, you know, getting right, as much loot as possible. What, for this one thing? Oh, let's keep going. How is everybody's health? Oh, everyone's fine. And it's not like we've severely alerted a ton of people here, so... Is there something in here, maybe? I mean, there's always something to loot. And apparently these guys do pick up loot, but... I just feel like I can find more. I see, like this guy's still looting in here. Amazing how these buildings don't burn around right, burn down right away. Yeah, no, I've just been kind of tinkering with uh, Stadia. Um, uh, didn't get my HDR settings correct the first time, and um, I bought the Google TV not too long ago. And even though I do love it as a um, let's see, let's see if there's anything else I'm missing here. Probably not. Okay. Um, even though it's great as a smart TV dongle and everything, um, I, I don't think it's good for Stadia. It does have, um, the Dolby Vision, which is, you know, it's, it's a really good HDR setting. Um, but it doesn't work so well with my TV for some reason. So I reverted back to the Chromecast Ultra and the experience has just been flawless. It just, it looks good. It feels good. Um, so I've been sticking with it to this point and I've just been tweaking the HDR settings to make the, my video on my end look really good. So, 
All right, let's see where else we can go. I guess the navigator map will show us the. Biding your time for bigger fights. More of a captain these days. I guess it won't show me the next location. We're just gonna have to find it. Turns out, spending years getting damn near chopped in half leaves you with enough aches and stiff muscles to keep you both bound. Now come, let us go. Go where? Are we leaving? We still have. We still haven't raised the alarm yet, and we can get what two hundred in resources. So. Foreign supplies can be found in military and monastery locations. Find the loot, loot the chest of foreign supplies. Yeah, so I've just been kind of picking things apart a little bit, and uh, I've come to uh, a happy medium, if you will. I want to give you props uh, for the commentary you did the other night on um, the uh, AC or AH commentary with um, the uh, Rocket League match that Titch and a couple others were in. Were in. One of the reasons why I and and you know, I was telling Dad <laughs> one of the reasons why I I still uh, you know when you're on I watch because I love your commentary so. Well, I see you've got like a slew of other um, commentary heads, and I've been been trying to listen, but um, you know, some of them just don't have the same palette that you do, and uh, it just it's been off-putting for the most part. How's EU been doing as far as um, the? Uh, Firewall League. Ow. Dude, take it easy. No, oh, I don't want to get back yet. How bad is the, uh, Alert. No, eh, more than halfway. But I don't think we're going to be overwhelmed. Not too much, anyway. The one thing I need to find out is what it's going to take if somebody does perish. How much it's going to take to actually bring those people back into... Into uh, raid battles and stuff. Gotta be something in here, right? No, it's a way in. Just keep grabbing stuff. Have you been watching any of it yourself? See how much more difficult this raid gets if we can keep going further. If it lets me, I know this is sort of like the tutorial. Let's see, can I not call that? I thought I was able to, you know, call him back with my wheel. La 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 la. I don't know about you, but I am ready to return to Raven's. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't feel like it. Yeah, and? They that challenging? Are there any other locations? Hmm. As one would imagine, river map clues, gear and weapons. 
So, I imagine that, like, I could continue. Um. Oh, I did come from that way. Right? Yeah. Let's give it another try. I'm feeling bold. Looks like a heavier camp. We do have someone who's a little on the dead side, but... If we do this quickly, it should be relatively quick and painless. Oh, they start incorporating barricades and stuff, huh? Like I said, I just gotta be the first to take these guys down. If I actually target one. Ah, uh, yes. Runes. I like runes. Runes. Fallen. Okay. Can only be revived if you reach them in time. No. Oh. I'm coming. Okay. I must be quick. I cannot afford to lose a crew member. Oh, calm down. I don't even care if I use my ration, I'll just get more ration. Ooh. Yikes! Oh no! Listen, dude, you need to take it easy. So I definitely need to level up my ration bag, because uh, that's one thing that I've been meaning to do. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough rations to heal myself and then heal them. Unless I can find them in time. And I actually might lose more people. <laughs> Well, let's try to go as far as we can. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, seven or eight. Okay. Can't find any more ration. There's one right there. Again, it heals me, but it doesn't help the situation, so. Come on. Hey! Oh, you've been using scythes, huh? Ew, cloak. Alright, well, yeah. I'm gonna lose another one here. Again, I don't think uh, I can find more rations. More health. Oh, losing more as we go here. Come, help me with this.
Only two remaining. <laughs> well, I pretty much lost everybody. Well, I want to try to save this one person, but again, I just managed to grab a little bit more ration here. And that's it. So again, definitely going to need to increase my uh, ration bag. So I'm able to go into battle with more rations and save these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll head our back. Oh, yeah. Head our back. Yo. Hey, Grizzle. pretty good. Just uh, enjoying a day off before I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Injured crew member. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. They're tough. They'll make... We'll go back. Make their way back to the settlement and heal up quick. Uh, hello? Yes. What have you been doing lately, Grizzle? Into anything new? Anything good? Yeah. Work. You're one of the few Americans who still continue to work. Right alongside me and uh, Wolf Craze there. Just went to go get my hair cut today and my barber and I were in a deep conversation about that. How business goes and, you know, just, just how this whole world is turned upside down when it comes to it. This is one of the few pleasures and luxuries we have to just kind of escape from all of it. politics and all. Oh, hey, Ma. That was invigorating. And as lucrative as I promised ya. I don't remember you being there. Got enough supplies here to put something together? Something like what? A place to stay where we can stretch out. Oh. Wouldn't want to bother Adis and the rest. You know Adis? Uh, I... I know of Adis. Her reputation as a fighter and as a trainer precedes her. Hmm. Simply wouldn't want to get in her way. I see. Well, we have space for a hall. And with enough supplies, we can make something in due time. That was curious. Like, the way he avoided the whole Adis thing. I mean, I thought he kind of knew Adis. Or was aware of Adis. And maybe he knows of Adis, but Adis doesn't know that he's here. That's an interesting conversation piece right there. Alright, so should I? Da -da 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 -da. That's not what I want. Ah, Havor, I have been meaning to mention to you the legacy of St. George. Is this some sort of ridiculous legend? It is. The story is that the revered saint's legacy, lost for hundreds of years, is divided and hidden across England. Such a great treasure, and yet no one has any idea where even a single piece could be? Until now. For months I have heard whispers... Been playing anything interesting there, Grizzle? Stories. And now my scouts have returned with a map. The rivers Seven and X both play a role in George's legend. Very well. That is where we will search. 
but keep a lookout for hints of other hiding places. Nothing is known for certain. Whether any of it actually exists, I cannot say. Care to go find out? Sounds tempting. I'll go. Good luck. What do you mean, Chris, by, uh, you're doing a bear build? What are you talking about, Willis? Uh, I mean, I guess I could. I mean, leveling up the settlement and all is important, so... Not really using it for anything else. Might as well. No, no. To the Yom speaking hall, Abel. I'm doing assassin. It's been a long time since we've had a permanent place to gather and share stories. Come here to hire more Yom speaking girl for your raids. With time, it will mm. attract some impressive fighters, real talents. Why did you assume that I was doing a bear build? Actually, I didn't get any skill levels, did I? No. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Ah! Oh, nope, still shy of the iron. Yeah. Oh, the broadsword. No, I just like the broadsword. It's got a long radius to it. It's not on here, so... Oh, here we go. River Raids. That's what it is. So I think these are close to what I am capable of. Recommend 92. I could do them. Ah, but there's something else I wanted to do. No, it's not a fast weapon. You're right. I could make it a fast weapon. I don't know. I picked the broadsword. It, it is, if I remember correctly, oop. it is a, it is a, a raven's uh, item. So, not a bear item. Might be a slightly different broadsword that you're thinking of. Alright, where am I going? I think I wanted to maybe go further south. Just to keep unlocking more areas. I could get some more of this stuff up here. I think I should do that. Unlock this area recently. On what build? Well, I can't imagine doing dual spear. <laughs> Why oh, I'm yawning so much? All right, let's just get more. Move. I don't know if that's selected it. Oh, yeah. Well, you would know, Chris. You practically beat this game through and through, and I'm sure there's still more that you can do with it. I tried going back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but for some reason, I can't win the battle against Cyclops for some reason. I'll kill Cyclops, but this place is heavily guarded. I can't kill his henchmen for some reason. I'm using a, a stick, but even still, I understand how I can't 
simply beat them. I beat them once before. I got really far in that game. But... Oh, we need to calm down, people. Alright, there's a couple of things in here. A snake. It's locked, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh. Not sure what that means, but... Okay, we got a couple of guys here. Hey, guy. Hi, guy. Is the other one looking? Probably not. Gotta look. It's funny he hasn't spotted me yet. <laughs> he didn't lose me. Ooh, big guy. Gonna try and make your way in here too. Hey, tough guy. Oh, I almost had it. I'm not going to say that I was going to have a perfect uh, moment there, but I was close. At least I thought I was. I haven't used my abilities in a long time, so I don't know what is good. I just swing wildly. How did I miss that? And that. Alright, well. Guess we basically took everybody out. Yep. There's like nobody here now. I'm sure there's some people. That's a lion. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can start. Can we get to that first? I know, I know, it's killing me. Well, I guess we can try going back up there. I don't think there was a way down, but could have missed it. I mean, there is a ex couple of explosive pieces here, so I imagine. Yeah. Okay. Counterweight. Yep. I see. Tiger.
Let me out, let me out, let me out. What gets rid of it? Uh, okay, yeah. I, I kind of figured, I just, eh, whatever. Alright, where's the other one? Where did I say the other one was? It was down below. It's in there. Which, there could have been a spot there. I mean, there's got to be something in there, so... I don't know why I did that. I do that a lot, actually. Huh. That worked. Not so good. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Jerk. Huh? Something is not right. Hmm. So I was just reading the comments. Oh. Okay, so getting to that part. There's got to be maybe a location over here. Maybe an underground path. Definitely saw a guy there. Ah, it's outside. How do you guys not know that there's a whole bunch of crap going on in here? Yeah, Black Flag was a really good game. Almost 100% completed, but because I didn't have a gold Xbox, uh, um, uh, gamer tag because I wasn't paying for the gold membership that um, I couldn't do the community quest where I went for the great white whale and uh, could never 100% complete it so bit of a bummer but to say the least it was still a fun game to play all right I'm going to go back into that room, and more than likely there's some sort of way to it. Or, oh wait, did I pick up that key? There was a key earlier, and I think I had to use a key on it. Is there a key to unlock this? Did I get the key? Damn it! So it's right there. Oh, this is next to that one guy. Oh, really? Uh... Take it easy, Grizzle Man. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so... It can't be, it can't be that key. I mean, it's got to be that key because that's where the door is, if I remember correctly. So, all these came back. Unless it's not. Nope, it's that key. 
So how do I not, how do I distract him? Do I just change the time of day? Go through meditation? clearly have shown is that it's by Maximus or Maximilian or whatever his name is so speak English please it's on the main road right yeah I mean, this may not even be the key for it. Oh, can I just sit here and meditate? <laughs> I'm gonna meditate you away, pal. Nope. <laughs> How do I distract him? Can I just kill him? Can't kill him, even though he's nowhere near the key. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. He's not here. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't work. Oh, there's another key over there. Didn't see that one. Could that be the key? Probably is. Wouldn't be surprised if it is. So it's in there. Can we open the door? Nope. I know, it was kind of crude what I did. On site here. What? I'm gonna attack on sight. So let's be sneaky about it there, Eivor. We need that stupid key. I can't believe this is like taking me forever to get. Again, may not even be the key that I'm looking for. Alright. So, can I break any of these doors in, or...? No. Alright. I've kind of moved away from... Uh, well, I did get the ingot, so I guess I can get another ability. Get another ingot. I don't know. So, did uh, notification come up for you, Chris, this time around? Were able to spot me, or were you perusing YouTube and? It happened to show me live. Cow. Is that a dead cow? No, nope. it's just a lying down cow. Can I tip a cow? I can probably kill the cow. I don't know. Peter wouldn't like that too much. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. We're going to a fort. 
Go into a fort. Never go in the front. Ever go in the front. Can I get up here, please? Okay. I'm in a weird corner. Get down, Eivor. I think one of the things I really... Oh. Pursuing? Uh huh. Are you just going to keep looking that direction? Ooh. A lot of people to free. I usually like taking the perimeter out first. Uh-huh. Why didn't you see me? Because it's really dark at night. Boogeyman's gonna get you. Boogeyman's gonna get you. Alright, we're getting close to the... Uh, Ability. It's all right there. <laughs> Don't know why I'm being slow in this area. Nobody down. The oh, oh, hey. I was just gonna say there's nobody down in this level. Uh, okay. He didn't want to go up for some reason. I don't know how- I forgot how to press up against the wall. I don't know why. Oh well. Wanted to whistle him over. I think I need a key for this. Nope. Door's just barred. So... I guess we gotta go up. Uh, I guess I should get rid of the body just in case. The others, other guys don't seem to be a problem. Alright, well, make our way down. Somehow. I guess we'll go up and see if, what this guy is up to. Ugh. Eivor, why do you make things so complicated? I'm just gonna drop from there. Question is, can I get up there? Ah, uh, yes, I gotta. No, can I go up? Uh... No, I don't think I can. All right. How do I get to you, my friend? Definitely not through here. We try up this way, obviously. If you let me, no. Nope. Definitely was intentional. All right, well, there's a way down from it. Oh, no, nope, there is a higher point. Of course there's a higher point. Let's make our way back over. I think I was over in this location? No, I wasn't. Doesn't matter anyway.
Well, aren't they doing that with, um... What's that use? Uh, infinity? I thought Assassin's Creed and Oh, there's no guy up here. I thought there was. Okay, go down. Go down. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> I didn't have to go that route the entire time. I'm such an idiot. Anyway. Okay, so the door is barred from the other side. There's got to be like a hole or something that I can get into. Back passage of some sort. Because again, the door is barred. Now it lets me get up through there. There's that right there. There's this right here. It's possible there might be something I can shoot in there. Doesn't usually show me very well though. Well, it says that it's an online open world, so, you know, think GTA. That's what they're kind of targeting or aiming for as far as the next Assassin's Creed. Okay, so I'm not going to say I ventured everywhere, but I would say that I've looked at pretty much every part of this location though there is a level below uh, maybe not I was going to say maybe I can burrow underneath which is possible no okay I don't know how to get to it I wish I can brute force it, but it won't let me. Usually brute forcing is my way to go. Aside from the assassinations, but it just makes assassinating people a lot easier. I don't know. Have they been able to... Have they been able to allow us to um, like find an explosive to destroy a barred door? Need to, need to get on the other side. I ran into this similar situation when I was um, in this one location. It was very it was far away for the most part. And uh, the, <laughs> the way in was just to the side of it, but I could see there were some explosives and stuff like that. And so, um, oh, hang on, what's this? Looks like tar. I don't think, but maybe? Would this be stupid? No. Maybe. No. Yeah, it's stupid to think that would work. It is tar, however. I just thought it would. Oop. I just thought it would uh, burn. But I didn't really throw it in there, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not gonna burn. I could try and throw something in there, maybe. Something might explode, but that's always a long shot. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, throwing in this, uh, throwing a torch is like really difficult in this game. It's not super accurate.
You mean not even an explosive? Like finding one of those explosive um, bosses, bases, would actually break it open? Alright, let's just peruse the side here. Maybe I... Maybe I'm just missing it. I know this is like really annoying and not really content worthy, but there's a dead person over here. I'm surprised I haven't been spotted yet, but then again, not really in a spot to be spotted. Nope. No, I am. Oh, come here. Oh, you're a smart boy. Stay away from the scary man. I just want the new ability. I don't care about everything else in here. I'm thinking there's like a hole maybe over here. Maybe I'm not just seeing it. But I don't think throwing a torch in it is going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, distinguish it easily. Okay, so... Everything else is separate from it, except I just feel like there's this one spot right there. It's a barred door, but it's not a locked door, so the lock... You know, I can't just get a key to unlock it because it's a barred door. Why is this so difficult? Maybe there's something I'm missing here that I have to... Because there's a lot of hay here. And I haven't torched everything. Not that every bit of hay would be... That you could set on fire, but... show you the door it's got a red bar on it it's this door right here hard door now I'm thinking it's possible that I, I might be able to shoot in it but there's no windows from the other side there's windows to the side of it I think if I remember correctly Oh, you know what? I'm thinking I probably could shoot it from here, maybe? If I'm a really good shot. Uh, I don't think so, though. Yeah, not going to let me there. Is there another spot over here, maybe? That's not a peephole. No peepholes there. What about peepholes on the other side? A predator bow? I don't know if I have a predator bow. What's the difference between what I got a superior hunter bow? I just have hunter bows, I don't have predator bow. What's the difference between the hunter and the predator bow? Can I navigate the arrow? Though I think I'm capable of doing that with one of my abilities. Yeah. I have the ability with the one particular arrow. Is there a spot up here that maybe I can shoot from? Maybe I can shoot down into it. Because I think I have one of those target abilities. You ads? The hell is an ad? I don't remember if this is it. Nope, that's not it. Oop! Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> I don't think. What are those abilities? <sighs> oh, ADS.
go above the room with the door. Well, that's what I'm doing. So there's the piercing shot. Oh, maybe the piercing shot can go right through the door. Oh, I might be able to do that. What's this ability here? This is the focus of the Nord. Which, I guess, just... Yeah. No, but I do have the piercing bow. I gotta get more, uh... Ability back. I'm gonna have to go do some more killing. Time to assassinate. I don't know where you guys came from, but uh, thank you for joining the party. Come here. Come here, Daddy-o. Oh. I saw the assassination button. Come on. Did that guy just... Okay, he threw an axe. Or they threw an axe. Oh, he did throw his shield. Didn't know they did that. I missed. No, didn't work. <laughs> That would have been cool if the piercing bow actually worked. Guess not on barred doors. They're like, no, you can't do that. Alright, give me the other guy. You up there? Yeah. I'm just getting started, lady. Uh, location Oxen Fort Skyer, Fort Skyer, Oxen Fort Skyer. Ah, uh, Chris, are you playing along? Ah, uh, how sweet. I'm sure it's something simple, and maybe right, may, I mean, it is an ability, so I'm sure it requires some special ability to unlock barred doors. Why does it always look like it's shooting it just to the, you know, left of it, not the right? I believe this is the first time, uh, first time that anyone's played along with me. Yeah, I kind of figured those were breakable walls. I want my arrows back. Can I have my arrows back, please? Thank you. 
Shouldn't have taken my arrows. Okay, so I think I can move this. Yes? No? Oh, we got some explodies right there. So... Yeah, that was enough. Ah, go up! Damn you! Oh, you want... Okay. It's the... Cripple Gay Fort. Yeah. Cripple Gay Fort. It's in Londonium Amphitheater and the Crepple Gate Fort. Gate. Crepple Gate Fort. All right. Now I got to put myself out. Which is not working. All right. Are you going to stop firing so I can... Oh my God. There's no fire there. Stop it. Asshole. Are you done burning? Thank you. It's plot waffle. Okay, so that's upstairs. I don't see the point to this. I did get some health back. But once again, have no idea why that was even possible. There's not even a way to... Oh, there is a way. Uh. L London. Is that the old translation for London? Okay, so there were there was a breakable barrier there. So that's how we got into that one. Now how do we get into this one? Again, I don't have the predator bow, so I don't know what good that's gonna do me. I mean there's some scrolls in there. And there's a pot brewing. I don't think I can set my bow on fire, can I? From here? Are hey, you looking forward to, uh, are you looking forward to, uh, Fract on the PSVR? You find it intriguing at all? See, there's a bow sitting out here. It's funny, and it looks like a predator bow. I think. I'm not even 100% sure if it's a predator bow. But. <laughs> do 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 to do, do. Oh, hang on. Can I set my bow on fire here? Yes. Nope, that finally set that on fire. Burn the motherfucker down! The tower, the wooden tower, secret spot. I'm talking about within here.
Right, in here, right? Um. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. La da 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 da. Oh, no, wait, that's not it. Is that it? That's it. There's no other way in here. And then, of course, this. Alright. Well, at least I figured out the other one. Man's best friend. I guess I can become a secure wolf on an enemy. Not that I have a wolf, but do I? Hmm. What's this one? Mark of death. Oh yeah, select multiples. Well, I hate to say it, but that was a bit of a, a lot of nothing. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have to take the time to tame it. Oh, I was really hoping to tame one. Alright, this obviously is the spot. Mm-hmm. Alright, maybe I thought it was. Oh well. Well, by the way, I'm just gonna come in here and wreak havoc. I don't, like I said, I don't think I've used any of my abilities that often. Like, even when I get them, I don't really use them. So there's a big guy. There's the guy with the key. Where's the other treasure in here? A couple of big guys. Can I kill him? Nope. I can kill his friend over there though. Oh my god, don't kill me! I don't want to die! Oh. Yeah, now I don't want to die. Now he's trying to kill me. I hit that spot.
Oh, uh, how far back did this go? It probably went pretty far back. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so tired. Lunden. I'm outside the walls. Nope. Yeah, I gotta start over. Uh, I don't know. It's been a long day. How long have I been going for? Almost two hours. It's longer than I normally do. <laughs> well, Chris, I really appreciate you stopping in tonight, but I think this is going to do it for me. I don't know if you plan on streaming yourself, but uh, if you do, uh, follow and watch. But at this point, pretty much spent on energy. So, ah, you didn't miss that much. It was just me mumbling, and again, I was just going to locations and unlocking the uh, synchronized ports so that way I could just fast travel. So, but um, yeah, I mean, at this point, well, if you choose to go on, uh, I'm probably going to get the notification and. Uh, I'll see you on there, so, but until then, thank you so much for joining, and uh, I will see you guys all next time. Peace.